Hello everyone, it's Brian and PS4 Trophies and welcome back to Hope County in Far Cry 5. Ubisoft recently flew me out to another preview event where we got to play a good portion of this game. So what I'm going to do is two main story missions here. First is the Baron Lumber Mill, which I got to go liberate the, the mill. It's basically an outpost. If you played any other Ubisoft titles before, you know what you need to do. Clear it out and then you're going to be able to get missions and there's shops and there's a fast travel point. So we're gonna go clear that out, but then we're gonna talk to Jess. Jess is another one of your primary guns for hire that you can uh, partner up with throughout the game. And she's going to transition us into a second quest called a Dish Serve Cold. It's a great quest, but I'm gonna bail on that point. I'm gonna let you guys watch that on your own because there's a lot of walking between points and she provides a lot of good commentary, uh, tells you a little bit more about the world and, and what you're doing. Okay, and I don't wanna talk through that, so I'll let you guys watch that. For this part, I will go ahead and uh, talk talk your way through it here. So, we're going to approach this lumber mill here. Now, this game is amazing. We got to play a, a good portion of this map here. This is about a third of the entire map that I got to play in. Of course, we're not going to go through that all the map in this one video. But subscribe, and I will have other Far Cry 5 videos showcasing some other missions, some cool uh, fangs for hire that you can get, and some cool wingsuit challenges. So... First, we need to liberate this lumber mill. Now, this is about one hour into the game. Uh, there was kind of a tutorial area. And, of course, we couldn't show any of that. And it was really good. I wish I could have showed it to you. Some really intense action in that. Some really good cutscenes. I really can't wait for you guys to experience that, uh, for you to experience that on your own. So now we're going to approach this lumber mill. Now, you saw I whipped out the binoculars there. I actually tagged the one sniper on top of that red silo-looking thing. And uh, my partner is going to go and take out that guy while I attempt to go take out another guy on, on another rooftop nearby. So we're going to grapple our way down. Of course, you can go down or up those. Now, this world, by the way, is beautiful. At one point, I found a plane and I just kind of flew around this entire area. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. I've never been to Montana, but I imagine this is exactly what it looks like. So you can see the uh, sniper there on top of that red thing over there, that red building. I'm going to the building just to the right there, the one with the flag on top of it. And I'm going to stealthily take this guy out, hoping my partner, who I commanded to go take out the, the uh, guy up there in front of us. But things don't always go as you want them to. At least in my case, I am terrible at stealth games. I think Metal Gear Solid Five. I pretty much just shot my way through that entire <laughs> campaign all right so you can see my partner is going to come up here and take out this guy but you know what it's too late it's we're already spotted so at this point i'm going to wing it i'm just going to run around this entire area now this is really cool i'm going to get a little lucky here i'm going to jump off as this guy's jumping towards me or running towards me nice little kill there so we're just going to run around here now, at a certain point later, after we uh, meet Jess and we start the second mission, uh, we are going to unlock a perk. And we unlock that perk by completing a challenge. I'm not going to go through this in this video and show you all the challenges that you can unlock or all the perks that you can uh, purchase. Uh, I will do a separate video on that, however. So, again, make sure you subscribe and you can catch that video. When the game does come out, I will cover the heck out of this game. I really, really love it. I cannot wait for it. Uh, wait for it. It is definitely going to be is in the top of my most anticipated games. Now, in just a moment, my partner is going to get down. Go, well, got to use a med kit here real quick. My partner is actually going to go down. You're going to see me using med kits quite a bit in this. Because we are very early in the game, and I haven't quite figured out every strategy that you should use. As you can tell, I couldn't stealthily take out this outpost, but part of that is because I didn't have a bow. A bow is really amazing. I love that weapon in this game, and we will acquire one in just a little bit uh, once I leave the video and, and let you guys watch the rest of it. But the bow is excellent for uh, taking out people in stealth. And unfortunately, at some point during the next mission, I swap it out for a different gun without realizing it, so I'd lose it at some point, which, which was quite a bit of a bummer would have definitely come in handy at the uh, this guy's using a bow it really would have come in handy at the end of the uh, dish serve cold mission which we'll get to in just a moment uh, th at the end of that there's going to be like a mini boss and you can see my partner's down so i'm going to come over and pick him up here this is a gun, gun for hire i found somewhere along the roadside 
Now, if he does die and bleeds out and you can't save him, there is a cooldown period, but after which you can uh, call him again. You will also get Jess as a partner. He's She's going to be a, uh, one of the leaders of the Guns for Hire, and she's amazing because she has a bow, so you're going to be able to clear out a bunch of outposts without ever being spotted. And there you go. We completed this outpost. It's now being converted into your own little uh, base of operations where there's going to be a shop. You can fast travel to it. And we'll be able to start the next mission. But first, we have to talk to Jess, and that'll progress that. Before I do that, I'm actually going to pick up a bow that is going to be laying next to her. So there we go. Jess Black is her name. And she's fantastic. She's going to, again, provide a lot of kind of little... Uh, story elements during the next mission. So I'm going to bail out. Uh, we're going to pick up that bow, talk to her. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, continue watching this and uh, subscribe, and I will give you guys more Far Cry 5 content. See you soon. Thanks for busting me out. Name's Jess. If you're out here picking fights with the cult, then I'm guessing you already know my Uncle Dutch. Look, I don't got a lot of time to waste. I'm gonna get right to the point. I was on the trail of one of Jacob's zealots. Goes by the name The Cook. Yeah, don't sound so scary. But believe me, he's one twisted fuck. Almost tracked him down. But a Peggy patrol got the drop on me. I need your help. We can't let this trail go cold. If you're looking to hook up with the Whitetails, this could be your way in. And more importantly, you'd help put an evil motherfucker in the grave. Gotta move. Wasted too much time already. Follow me. This way. Peggy's are gonna pay for what they did here. See that? That's his calling card. Innocent people burned alive. Goddamn cults grabbing everyone. They'll take you from your home, bar, even church. Don't matter where you are. Then they slot you into one of two categories. Weak or strong. See, Jacob's building an army. And anyone who can't or won't fight for him winds up dead. Cullen the herd, he calls it. Wholesale slaughter innocent people. Nobody believed it was happening because nobody wanted to believe. we're after. The cook. He's one of Jacob's favorites. The one who leads his purging. The cook's bought into all of Jacob's bullshit. This motherfucker's gonna get what he deserves. Keep your head. 
head down. They spot us those hot the dead. Heads up, bad guys. Gotta put trust in each other, that's all. We'll get off. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. We're gonna execute them. Take point. I got your back. Remember, if they spot us, those people are hey, dead on the side. Watching over me. Try that again. There's more of us at the pit. He's gonna burn him. He's gonna burn to do them all. Thanks for saving my life. So thank you. Oh God. Hold me, please. The thank you. The rest of the pit. Let's go. To the cook. He had the parents on posts and decided to give the kids a little water. And then he asked if they were hungry. The kids were starving, so they said yes. Started begging for food. The cook asked if they want pork. The kids said yes. Eaton's Gate's just another cult. So he went out to the they ain't the first and they won't be the last. And took their shoes off and started to play. This little piggy went to market. 
blood poured like a damn faucet. Cook had a big ol' grin on his face as he offered each little piece to the kids. Enough of a breeze today. Feels good. Pretty soon there were no more piggies left. So he laughed. And set the parents on fire. And the air filled up with that sickly sweet smell of roasted flesh. I'll never forget that smell. When they finally stopped screaming, I looked around. He was just gone. Vanished like some sort of demon in the night. Anyways, that's why they call him the cook. Cook's dead, and I don't feel anything. All I ever wanted was to find this guy. And now, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. 
Betch has been right about a lot of shit lately. The cult. Eli. Maybe he's right about you too. You, uh, you need someone to watch your back? Call me. And, uh, thanks for everything you've done. <laughs>